This is by far the biggest Wonder Woman game update we've gotten in two years, which has finally given us a breakdown of its gameplay. What to do, Direct Nation? I'm back with Super News, bringing you the latest superhero news without wasting your time if you subscribe. So if this information was valuable, hit the like button so it will reach more people. But if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. Wonder Woman has been near the top of my most anticipated games list ever since the reveal trailer at the 2021 Game Awards. I love Wonder Woman as a character and being developed by my studios meant this was going to have game of the decade potential so it's been tough these last few years as the only information we previously gotten was mostly just announcements of new hires and job postings which makes sense a lot of gamers ask why announcement trailers happen for games without release dates and that's because they're not actually for you they're mostly recruitment ads to attract more developers to help with the project but that lack of new updates started changing this year first with the monolith employee who put some of the game's concept art in their linkedin bio which gave us our first glimpse at potential support characters with some speculating we were looking at an argus agent and Nubia next to Diana. But then the game got into a bit of controversy when a job posting revealed they were looking for somebody with live service experience. Combined with the CEO of WB stating that they were embracing live service for their games going forward, and this caused a small meltdown on social media. As a result, WB quickly told fans this would not be a live service game. However, it's important to note this does not mean Wonder Woman will not have live service elements like paid cosmetics, a season pass or other post-launch content like we've seen from non-live service games like Batman Arkham Knight and Spider-Man PS4. The latest, however, has gotten me extremely excited. Co-founder of the Xbox Era podcast and famous industry insider Good Guesser Nick dropped a full Wonder Woman gameplay breakdown during a recent episode. In terms of performance, Nick said the game is currently running at 30 FPS. However, they are targeting 60 FPS performance by launch. This makes sense as I don't expect Wonder Woman to release until fall 2024 at the earliest, so they have plenty of time to get that performance in, and I'm glad they're keeping that in mind to accommodate the gamers whose eyes will melt if they play anything below 60 FPS, unless it's Zelda or Red Dead. The game's graphics were said to be like a better version of Gotham Knights, which sounds like they're going for a more grounded, realistic look for the characters. Though, since this game takes place on Themyscira, the lighting will be much brighter than in Gotham. As expected, there will be mobs, bosses, and mini bosses, which is where the Nemesis system will shine. Enemies who defeat Diana will get stronger and gain promotions. Others that survive after being defeated will adapt and form grudges that will come up when you encounter them again. It's a fantastic system that I wish WB would put in more games. In terms of progression, we can assume Wonder Woman will have skills to unlock, but the source confirmed you'll be opening chests which will drop loot for a Diana like boots, braces, and torso gear, pretty much like God of War and God of War Ragnarok. This was also how Middle Earth Shadow of War was, but hopefully unlike that game, the gear and progression system isn't weighed down by loot boxes and other microtransaction based gimmicks. Fast travel will reportedly be done via Diana's invisible jet, which I think is absolutely hilarious and also very clever on the part of the animators as that will definitely save them some time and money by not having to show an actual plane. Since Wonder Woman won't be flying like Superman, her movement will consist of jumping, leaping and fast dashing, which was described as a good version of Crackdown and that's encouraging as Wonder Woman at the bare minimum should be jumping around like the Incredible Hulk. Nick also confirmed her lasso of truth will be in the game and one of your weapons. The feel of it was said to be like webs in Insomniac Spider-Man games, allowing you to combo enemies, tie them up, and slam them. He didn't get confirmation on if there will be a truth mechanic, but with the level of interaction the Nemesis system brings, it would be surprising if there was no interrogation feature using a lasso. I'm expecting Wonder Woman to get an official reveal with a new trailer next month, but she won't be alone. Several big upcoming superhero games are set to give fans new updates and first looks. I'll talk about that in the next video on screen.